Well, this is Alcan. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I guess we're going to have our own version of uh, YouTube Rewind. The Decade of Earthquakes. No, it's not very pleasant. As we all know, uh, 2010 and 2011 didn't start out well. Um, it's bad enough you're on the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire. But when you're not expecting it in the Caribbean, it's a whole lot worse. Of course, January 17, 2010, Haiti got hit with the worst earthquake in 200 years and its capital, Port-au-Prince, causing mass casualties, thousands, thousands of deaths. Believe me, we don't even know what the numbers are because the officials over there don't know what the numbers are. Mass graves, uh... Bodies all over, buildings just completely disintegrated because they were in poor shape. I guess people didn't realize that, hey, the Caribbean is just a dangerous hot spot for earthquakes, just like other parts of the world. Then in 2011, we had the, uh, the Northern earthqu Earthquake in Japan. It shook the heck out of Tokyo. Well, Tokyo survived. But you can't say the same for the uh, northern parts of Tokyo, including the uh, nuclear power plant that uh, went haywire because lost power, the batteries went out, and the tsunami took care of it. The rest. Causing one of the worst... Uh, how do I say this? Uh, repeat disaster. You know, first you had the earthquake, then you had the tsunami, then you had the nuclear meltdown. That really had never happened before. It was a record 9.0 earthquake per region. And unfortunately, you would think after a big earthquake like that, that the, um, the, the pressure from the earth would uh, ease a little bit, right? Nope. They're still having problems. Um, of course, Christchurch, New Zealand, no stranger to earthquakes, unfortunately suffered one of its worst ones in uh, around 2013-14. Several deaths, many building collapsed, including a famous cathedral. Just like in uh, Port-au-Prince, a famous cathedral over there also got destroyed. Ah, uh, they're still trying to rebuild that city. It's just like San Francisco was t uh, with the Lone Pereira. It took about 10 years to recover. It was taking a while for them, too. Uh, even the Northeast, the United States, and Canada, and parts of, s is it? Yes, southern part of uh, the United States as well. We suffered two huge earthquakes. A magnitude of 0.40 around 2010, and then the Granddaddy 5.8 on uh, August 23rd, 2011. That one set off a chain reaction. You had damage from from Virginia through Washington D.C. Uh, cathedrals damage. And the Washington Monument had to be shut down for emergency repairs. A nuclear power plant in Virginia had to shut down because of the earthquake, ironically. But luckily, you know, since it didn't happen in the water, you didn't have a tsunami knocking the sucker out. And even in New York City, we had a chimney collapse at the uh, Red Hook housing projects. One chimney. It could have been worse had the earthquake had been a lot closer to New York. Then we will be talking a different story and I may not be here to tell you the story. Of course, uh, other parts in the world didn't fare so well either. Italy, of course. A few uh, shockers over there. Uh, one earthquake knocked uh, the pristine um, tile work that was above them onto some inspectors, killing some of them. Albania got hit with a nasty earthquake uh, not too recently. We just had a uh, two 
a massive earthquakes in uh, Colombia. Even though there was no damage or deaths reported, it was still a scary thing for them. Uh, Bogota was rocking. It was felt all the way to Medellin. Uh, California. It also didn't uh, escape the earthquakes, but we had one in Napa Valley a few years ago. And then this summer we had the Rick, Rick Chris earthquake. Uh, had a couple of magnitudes and just we thought everything was okay. We got hit with a larger earthquake uh, around seven. This one was felt from Arizona all the way up to, I think, Sacramento and uh, Las Vegas. Ironically, the only reason I know about the Las Vegas situation is because Rebecca Black was filming and she saw the building was swaying. Well, I know. I had to sneak her in somehow, right? <laughs> okay. In the Himalayas, not any better. We had several earthquakes there, catastrophic ones. Um, a national monument over there was completely destroyed. The building just toppled down. Like the World Trade Center did in 2001. And, of course, we got the minor stuff here and there. Chile had a strong couple of earthquakes, an eight, uh, several years ago. No major damage, but, you know, a lot of people's nerves are uh, uh, rattled. Ecuador had a huge earthquake, a 7.8, just like uh, San Francisco did in 1906. There was some damage, a few casualties. But the thing is that the population has grown dramatically in the last 10 years, and yes, more people are going to areas where there's earthquakes, and yes, you're going to suffer even more. And of course, the usual hot spots in Turkey and Greece, they're having their fair share. So, um, the point of all this is you got to remember earthquakes cannot be predicted. Uh, they would only be forecast because it's not something you can easily do. Even with all the technology, the best we can do is the earthquake has already started and you can give a warning to everybody ahead of it. Uh, it doesn't help the people who's already stuck in the earthquake to begin with. Just like uh, you're in a uh, situation with the tsunami, as soon as it comes... You know you have to get up. You can't wait for the warning to higher ground. Doesn't help you, but it helps everybody else. We have to try and improve the technology because how the earth moves is so slow, like your nail. It grows very slowly. That's how rocks move. I mean... I mean, the, the Northeast earthquake of uh, August 23rd, that was something else. Uh, I guess I was in the toilet when this one happened, but we didn't feel it. Well, we're lucky. But, you know, you know you're lucky right now because, remember, earthquakes can hit any time, any place, anywhere. That's why you need to prepare. That's why you need the earthquake kits. If you don't know how to uh, get one or produce one, go check on Google and Red Cross. They'll give you all the information you need or all the sources. Japan's very good at this, even though they messed up at uh, that Fukushima nuclear power plant. But it's always good to be prepared for a disaster. So this is Al Can't Say so long for now. Don't forget to stop. And happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. Kwanzaa. Whatever holiday. And Lawrence Ruder. Eh. Okay, take care. Bye.